Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to install the newest Kodi with the best digs built. Free movies, free TV shows, free pay-per-views, and other content. Not only will you learn how to install Kodi under 10 minutes, but you're also going to get full access to the Unlinked Store, which offers 20 different applications, premium applications, for free movies, TV shows, every single content piece. I'll explain everything in detail. We're going to get Kodi fully loaded, and then you have the option to get at these other applications if you ever wish to do so. Now, to keep the process very simple and straightforward, the first thing we have to do is go to the gear icon here and go to My Fire TV or My Device and click inside of that. You see I have developer options. You may not have developer options, which is completely fine. What you want to do, click on that about. And here you can see it says Fire TV. It might say Fire TV Stick 4K, Max for you. Just click on the name eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It says no need, you're already a developer, but if you're not a developer, it'll tell you now you are a developer, okay? Now, once you've done that step, all you have to do is hit back and you'll see developer options now, it's enabled. Now click four times more back with the back arrow here, take us to the main menu and from here, what you wanna do, you wanna go to find and search right here, click into that search box and you wanna use the Alexa remote or you can just type it in as well, you can search for downloader, downloader. Because anything else you say, it'll pick it up and it'll give you other results. You can also type it in. The application is called Downloader, just like that. 669,000 four-star reviews. Orange, white icon looks like that. You're going to click on it. And from here, you're going to click to download it, okay? It's going to start downloading it. It's going to queue it. And once it installs, we're not going to open it up. So we're going to get a notification, but we're not going to open it up yet. We're just going to hit the home button. There's a couple of things that we have to do to prepare our Fire Stick for Kodi. Go to Settings, go to My Fire TV or My Device, go to Developer Options that we enabled in the first step, Install Unknown Apps, and make sure you turn the downloader to the on position just like that. Once you do that, five times back, back arrow, one, two, three, four, five, okay? Now, the next step we have to take after this, we have to go to Find and have to go to Search. Click into Search here and type in this for our next application to prepare to access to the store and the installation and setup of Kodi and the build. So we're going to type in IP Vanish, just one word, just like that. You see it on the screen, IP Vanish, just like that. Highlight the word IP Vanish after you type it in, click on it. It'll come up with another screen, looks like this, black, white, gray, green icon, just like that. Click on that icon and press the download button to download the IP Vanish VPN. Now, it's going to queue it and it's going to start installing it. Now, we need a VPN to access unlinked application. What's happening is internet service providers are blocking the digs build. They're blocking access to unlinked. They're blocking access to all the other apps. Therefore, we need a VPN to get around it, to be able to connect to a virtual private network and change our IP address to be able to get all the links, all the updates and fully access the unlinked store and fully be able to connect to the digs repository to download the build. So let's open the app. app so you see IP vanish and you see a login and password. So your login is your email and your password you're gonna create. By going to this link here, you can scan this with your iPhone or Android barcode or go to this link here, also in the pinned comment description. When you get to that landing page, uh, you're gonna be able to choose your package. Right now it's about 82% off. It's $2 a month, that's how much it costs. It's like a coffee at Starbucks and that's gonna give you protect give you full access to unlinked, keep you protected, keep you anonymous when streaming, when using Kodi, watching all these new HD releases, pay-per-views, sports, and all that stuff. It's, you know, way cheaper than Netflix, way cheaper than anything else. It's $2 a month since I negotiated this deal with IP Vanish for you guys. So all you have to do to get it is you can pause the video if you need to do this, scan the barcode here, go to this bit.ly link here. Also in the pinned comment description, there's a clickable link. On the landing page, just put in your email address you sign up with, put in your password you want to create, you'll get an email notification from them to verify your email account. Once it's verified, you'll be able to log in, put in your email address and put in your password you created on their website and press in the login button. Pause the video if you need to, this information is available right here. Take care of that and then I'll show you the next step we have to do inside of IP Vanish to prepare this for the installation of Kodi and the digs built, okay? So I'm gonna log into mine and then you would log into yours just in the same way and press the login button and I'll show you the next steps. So once you log in, a screen will pop up, it'll look like this. And remember, you can use one account that I just created from these links. 
on unlimited devices. I use this on about 10 fire sticks at home. I test them all and all that stuff. I got a lot of fire sticks, other devices. One account will keep you covered. iPads, iPhones, Windows, all devices support with one account, fire sticks, whatever. It'll work on every single device, okay? It's all platform compatible, okay? So once you log into your account here from the links that you created here, your account, you wanna click on the gear icon here and you wanna say connect Android startup, okay? Now you want to click one back. You want to go to location by clicking the location button. And from here, countries, you're going to scroll all the way underneath countries and you're going to scroll all the way to United States. Okay. Once you get to United States, click on it and say favorite United States. Click on it. We'll put a yellow star on it. Click on it again and say connect to United States. It will pop up with something like this. Press the OK button and that will flicker the screen and you'll be connected to the United States now. Let's check that out. You're now connected to the United States, okay? There you go. We're connected to the United States. Press the home button once you do that. And right now we can open up the downloader application by clicking on it. Now press the OK button and click one up, highlight this in yellow. And once you're in this URL box, type in un linked dot link exactly how you see it here so I'm linked dot link is all we have to type in just like that let's type that in unlinked dot link just like that once you type in unlinked dot link exactly how you see it here on the screen what you want to do you want to press that go button right there when you press the go button It'll say connecting, and now you have a website. You can move the mouse cursor here. You can see with the D-pad up and down. You're going to move it down until you see download APK Android here. Highlight the red dot over this box right here. Click on it, and that will pull the unlinked application, okay? So you'll see it. It'll say connecting, and it'll download, and it will pop up, and you can press the install. And now when this installs, don't open it up yet. Just press the done button. There's one final step. We've got to delete and press the delete to delete the installation files. We can safely press home to get out of downloader. And you see unlinked is installed, but we need to go to settings now again. Go to My Fire TV again. And from here, go to developer options again that we did in the first step. Install unknown apps and turn the unlinked to the on position just like that. Click five times back. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now we can safely start up the unlinked application. Let's click on starting it up. And we'll be presented with a screen like this. You're going to press the new library here. And this will blink. Click inside of the blinking cursor and put in a lowercase, no spaces, all lowercase, just the word fire stick. That will get you into my store that's fully loaded with so many apps and also the newest Cody as well. Press the next button and that will come up with a welcome screen. Now you're more than welcome when you're doing this at home to take a picture of this. This will give you all the details for the best applications. Uh, the best stuff, uh, you know, so the best for free movies and TV shows, the best for live TV, list them all in order. I vet, I vet these applications every two weeks and I check out what's working and what's not and I give you the stuff that works. So take a picture of this. If you want to install Kodi and you're happy with Kodi and you're using Kodi, that's fine. But if you want to install anything else besides Kodi, you can run both at once or three at once in your Fire Stick. You can run many as long as you have enough space to install them. Take a picture of this. That'll give you great access to other applications. Now, ultimately, what I like to do now, once you take a picture of the screen, just hit back arrow and then hit the back arrow again just to get out of unlinked. And I'm going to restart it again by going back into it. And when you go back into it for the first time now, no welcome screen, you'll see a folder, New Tech Apps. Click on New Tech Apps, and you'll see a lot of categories here, Fire Stick Tools, and below is Best Movie TV Show Apps best live TV apps and all that stuff. But I'm going to go straight down to the Kodi category. There's eight categories. Scroll down to the Kodi category. Okay. And when you in the Kodi category, uh, get the newest Kodi. Oh, you see here it says new new Kodi 21.2 newest Kodi. This is our newest Kodi. We just click on that icon. It's so easy to download Kodi and other applications. If you scroll up and down, you can get them in the same way. You would just press the download button and the application would start downloading directly very fast. You can see the progress bar is going to go here. Our VPN is on. You're seeing tremendous speeds as well. Kodi is a larger application. And as you can see, it's downloading without any issues at a good speed. And when it finishes uh, downloading, you just simply press the install button. And remember, scroll up and down, left to right to get more applications if you ever wish to install more applications. Uh, this tutorial is basically on Kodi, but what I have in my store is really incredible if you just browse around and try some of these apps, okay? Now you just hit install app for Kodi, okay? 
And once you press install, this will just install Kodi, okay? Now, if you haven't taken advantage of the VPN that is required for some of these apps, you can scan this barcode again. In the first step, I explain why we need a VPN. You can scan this barcode and purchase the VPN by scanning this as well. That will give you 82% off. It's two bucks a month. It's like a coffee at Starbucks. This will keep you protected safe. It'll give you access to Kodi updates and be able to connect and download Kodi, okay? So I've talked about this in the first step, but that's also available if you missed that step. It's also here easily for you to scan with your Android phone or iPhone to go to that web page to get you that 82% off for the VPN, okay? Now, let's hit uh, home after we install Kodi. And remember, you can go back to the online store at any time to get more apps, okay? Hit open Kodi up by clicking on it. You're gonna press the continue. It's gonna open up Kodi for the first time. Press allow. And it's gonna start up our Kodi for the first time. Very simple process. Here we are. Okay, now once that's done, all you have to do straight off the bat, right from the beginning, is go to the gear icon, click on File Manager, click on Add Source, click into this field that's highlighted in blue, and put in the following URL. So we're going to put in HTTPS, so HTTPS, I like to keep it lower capitalization. Now click the up arrow here because we've got to get to the comma. And then we don't have a forward slash, so we have to disable that now again by clicking on it again and putting the forward dash, forward dash, forward dash. And we're going to put in the following URL, exactly how you see it, tinyurl.com okay, forward slash. And then we're just going to put D-I-G-G-Z or Z, depending which part of the US you're from, or if you're from Canada or Australia. Digs123, just exactly like that. I'll leave it on the screen here as well, just so it gives you, ladies and gents, some time to type it in. I'll leave it here, and this is the exact URL with HTTPS. Don't forget the S, HTTP may not work. Once you're done that, press the OK button. This will show you digs like that. Scroll down, scroll down until you press the OK. And this should add the digs repository. You shouldn't get any errors. You can see it's added. Click the back arrow one time back on my Fire Stick and click back arrow again and go to the main menu. Now you're going to go to add ons. Click on the add on installer, little drop box, or it looks like an open box. Click on that. Click install from zip file. Click settings on this message now slide this to the on position just like that and then say yes and then very important just click one back and press install from zip file again now you can see we can access our repository click on that and then click on the repository zip file okay you'll see a couple of things are happening in the background the repository is being installed and set up here we are now, when, once that pop-up pops up, we can go up to install from repository and go to digs repository. And when that loads, we can simply just uh, go to program add-ons underneath programs, little hammer and a wrench. And Chef Omega Wizard, click on that in green, press the install button, press the OK button on this message. And that's going to install and download the repository. It should take about a minute or two. It will look like nothing is happening, but actually a lot of things are happening in the end. It's installing the dependencies and stuff we need for our Kodi. Uh, give it a minute. Let that set up. Let that install. Uh, so as you can see, it's installing in the background. It will... Once it installs, a pop-up will come up like this. You want to hit the back arrow on the pop-up. And without me pressing anything on my Fire Stick, I should get a pop-up saying, there is currently no builds installed. Would you like to install one? And I'm going to say yes. Now, when this screen pops up, you want to click on Dig Xeon Free. That's the free build that's going to give you all the content and all the links. Click on that. And with my VPN on, I can press continue and you'll see the download will start and the download will be quite fast. Here we are. So it's going to download it, extract, and we'll be ready to proceed to the next step. Once the build extracts and downloads, we can simply press the OK button or force close. And remember, you can go back to the unlinked store at any time to get more apps and stuff. So you can just start up Kodi and you can ready to use for movies, TV shows, and more content. If you want any other applications, you can just go back to the Unlink store and you can scroll up to best movie and TV show apps, best live TV apps, you can get that all. That's available in my um, Unlink store as well, okay? Now, if you scroll to Firestick Tools, you can also scan 
this barcode that will give you the top app list, which are just as good as Kodi or even better if you haven't heard of them. And that will give you a list of top apps. You can also scan this to get a VPN. Our VPN was running through the entire process. So this is the barcode to scan to get access to that VPN. I'll press the home button and I'll show you throughout this entire process. Our VPN was turned on. 11 minutes here, we're running a VPN to download this, to extract this, and everything has worked flawlessly. This will give you more links, more content, and it's it's $2 a month. It's like a cup of coffee at Starbucks or even uh, any other coffee shop. I don't know where you get a latte for two bucks. So it's two bucks a month, that's how much it costs. All you have to do is to get set up if you haven't. Scan this barcode here or go to this big link here, also in the pinned comment description. That'll keep you protected, keep you safe, keep you all the updates from Cody, give you more links and content that's being blocked by an internet service provider and to be able to access the unlinked store that I've shown you earlier uh, and access, I have about 64 apps that you can access from my store. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And one last thing before I go, I haven't put a code in my unlinked store, but if I do put a, some kind of code in the future, four digit pin to lock it, that you'll need a four digit pin code to get in. The people that are gonna get the code is people that comment right below this video. So drop a comment, just a simple hi, where are you from? Maybe just wanna tell me if you like baseball, if you like the Detroit uh, Tigers, maybe, you know, uh, what's your favorite football team? What's your favorite baseball team? Uh, you know, you like coffee, what's your dog's name, what's your cat's name, whatever, what city and town you represent, where you're from, any comment, and then if I do put a pin lock, I reply to your comment, automatically below, I'll reply to all the comments with a four-digit pin code that you can get in with, if I do that in the future, so make sure you do that, drop a comment, I don't ask for money, I don't ask for donation, a comment would go a long way, also hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to get notification, if everything changes or anything changes in Cody, you'll be the first one to get notified, Hit that bell icon to get the notifications and hit the subscribe. Hit the like button, obviously. Uh, you're, if you're already here, you probably already hit that like button. And um, I'll see you all in the next video. Let me know if this worked and have a wonderful, beautiful day. And thank you for all the support and thank you for watching me. I appreciate it all. Thank you and take care. Have a beautiful day.